Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome to my new and improved YouTube channel. So in the past I've done a few hair tutorials but I haven't really taken YouTube very seriously. So I've decided to start making more videos and I hope you guys will enjoy them. If you have any ideas of stuff you want to see, leave it in the comments below. Um, but I decided to start doing my favorite beauty products every month for you guys because I put them on the blog but I feel like I can't really express how much I like the product in writing, if that makes sense. And I think this will translate a lot better putting it on video. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. I also just really wanted to start doing more videos because I feel like I've found a lot of my favorite products from watching YouTube videos. And it just helps to see somebody actually wearing the products and um, maybe putting them on. I just think that's a lot more helpful than me just putting pictures of it on the blog. So since I'm such a big YouTube fan, I thought I would, you know, return the favor, I guess, and start making videos of my own. So I hope you guys like it, and without further ado, let's get started. So my first favorite is actually not very good for the weather if you're in a cold place, but it's still really hot here in Orange County. Um, it is called the Sand Cloud, and it's not a beauty product. It is like a beach blanket, but it has this built-in pillow in the top. And as you can see, it's like, it's really cute. It's got the little fringe on the bottom. So it's very, you know, bohemian, beachy. And I just think that the concept is genius. I am a beach lover and I like to go and like read magazines and like lay out and just relax. But I'm always putting my bag underneath my neck or, you know, crumpling up my cover up or something and putting it underneath my neck because nobody wants to just like lay flat, you know, so, especially if you're reading and you know, you kind of have to be at an angle to block the sun, you know, so this is amazing. I'm obsessed with the idea. Um, there are startup companies. I really hope they do really well and I will leave their link in the comment section below if you're interested in one. Uh, maybe get one for a Christmas present for someone. I think if you have a friend that's a big beach lover, this would be a really cute Christmas present because it's probably something that they don't have. So that is my first favorite. My next favorite is what I have on my lips right now. It's the new Maybelline Matte Collection of lipstick. And if you like YouTube videos as much as me, you've probably already seen a million people talk about these, but they are so, so good. So I started out getting this just, I started out just getting this color because this was all they had at Target. And I love it. It's Mesmerizing Magenta. And um, I like it because it's a creamy consistency. It doesn't like, I'm really weird about matte lipsticks because I feel like you can see every crease in my lips and it's really dry when you put it on and it's almost uncomfortable when you're wearing it. But this isn't, it's really creamy, it goes on really smoothly, it's really, really pigmented so you only need like two coats of it. And it's just, it's comfortable to wear and it stays on so, so long. Like I would think that this is probably a lip stain at the same time because I'll wear it, I'll put it on in the morning and it will still be on my lips at the end of the day when I leave the office. It's crazy. Like it obviously would look better if I reapplied it maybe one time, but I think that's all you would ever need to apply it. And that's just this color. I haven't actually tried all of the other colors yet, but I did go out and buy more because I'm so, so obsessed with them. So they didn't have them at the first Target I went to, so I went to another Target and they had four of them. So I'm like, okay, that's probably a good thing because I really don't need the whole line, but I want it. So I got the four that they had. Um, this one is Daringly Nude. And it's just a really pretty nude color. I'm not a huge nude lipstick person, but I do feel like if you're going to do like a really smoky eye for a night out or something, then you'll want a nude lipstick to go along with it. So I feel like that's just a good everyday lipstick to have. And this one is Craving Coral, which is like an orangey color, which I love, love, love. These are my favorite colors of lipsticks, and I probably have way too many shades of orange, but I had to get it. And this one is Ravishing Rose, which is pretty pink, but I feel like it's a really pretty 
color. It's not like Barbie pink, but it's a little bit more fun and it's not super neon, so you could still wear it in the fall. And this one is Divine Wine, which is definitely a really good color for fall. It's like wine colored, Divine Wine. So um, I'm excited to wear this, like a really vampy lip color. And that is it for that. So if you guys go to Target and you see them and you love lipsticks like me, you have to pick up at least one color. Get them from Target too because they're cheaper at Target than they are at CVS. If you get them from the drugstore, they're like $9. But if you go to Target, they're like five fifty dollars or something. So I felt way better about getting more than one because they were like almost half the price at Target. So go to Target and get some. My next favorite is two favorites actually, but they're both for your brows, so I want to talk about them at the same time. I actually got this combo from watching Miss Glamorazzi, Ingrid, I'll leave her channel down below. She's one of the people that inspired me to start a YouTube channel because I found her first and I couldn't stop watching her videos. I actually got to meet her at Lucky Fab and she's a doll. She's exactly like she is on her YouTube channel. And so, um, yeah, so I, I follow her religiously and she always uses this combo. It's the Anastasia, Anastasia, I don't know how you say it, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe because I feel like that's probably the safest color for a blonde. And this is the Benefit Gimme Brow in Light Medium. So what she always does and what I've been doing this month and I'm obsessed with is this Anastasia brow pen first and then the Give Me ba Brow from Benefit. It's like a brow gel, so it like keeps all your hairs in place and it darkens them a little bit and it's got little fibers inside that kind of like fill in the brow if you are if you have really sparse brows like me. So this has been the best combo ever and I've tried some other brow pens from the store and they just have not done a good job. Like even, so this one has like a spoolie at the end for you to like brush your brows and I saw some that looked exactly the same at the drugstore and I like a like I love to save money so I will try a drugstore product before I'll try anything else and none of them works so I I'm actually thinking about doing a video about products that I won't be buying again if you guys are interested in that let me know so for skincare I've been trying out this skincare line called Pavonia I think Pavonia Pavonia and I change up my skincare routine a lot um, but I'm really liking this right now and first of all I just love the packaging I think it's so pretty it's gold with the black black tops it's really pretty if you like leave it out on your sink or something it looks like decoration it doesn't look like you know you have all your products out on your sink or anything and secondly it smells so so good so this is the multi active foaming cleanser and it smells so fruity it just smells so good like you put this on in the shower and it just smells amazing, which I think is so weird because face washes don't normally smell that great, I don't think. But this one really does. It's like perfumey. You feel good about putting it on your face. And then I'll follow up with the Intensive Serum. Same thing. Pretty bottle. And this one smells really good too. So this one smells like really fruity and this one smells really floral. But it's really good. So they all have like a really perfumey smell, which I like. So then I follow up with the Intensive Cream. And it's just a jar of lotion. Like that. And this one smells really good too. This one's kind of like the florally set too. But yeah, it just feels like, like every time I do this combination, I feel like I'm at a spa or something. And I'm just at my house getting ready for bed so that is my favorite skincare line at the moment another skincare product that I've been loving is from Enza Essentials and it's the spot extractor so I feel like I've been under a lot of stress lately at work and it definitely takes a toll on my skin like I'm the kind of person if I'm even a little bit stressed out I will break out like there's no tomorrow so this has been my savior. It's got like a little rolly ball at the top. And I've just been using this on areas where I've been getting a little bit of um, a little bit of pimples and breakout. And I feel like the next day it looks so much better. If they're not gone, they're at least smoothed down a little bit. 
this isn't just a September favorite because I actually discovered this a few months ago, but I feel like I've been using this every day, whereas before I would only use it on special occasions. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and it is literally the best mascara I think I've ever used, and I'm very, very picky about my mascaras. But the one thing I do have to do is put a waterproof mascara on before I put it on because my lashes, for some reason, when I curl them, they don't stay curled unless I use waterproof mascara like right after. And if I do that, then they'll stay curled all day long. But if I don't, then they'll eventually just like fall back flat. So that's what I have to use before I put this on. But it is like just the best. It is the darkest mascara, the blackest black mascara you'll ever use. It's the brush is just like perfect. And it separates your lashes, but it makes them really thick at the same time. Like I kind of like my mascara a little bit on the clumpier side. So if you don't like clumps at all, then maybe this isn't the mascara for you. But if you do really like like really dark, full, clumpy, not clumpy, but like just thick mascara, then you will love this. So this is definitely something that I'm incorporating into my daily routine. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, follow me. Um, I posted about this Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. I've actually posted about, about it on my blog too before. And it is just so good. I know I've said everything in this video is so good, but they are, that's why they're my favorites. So this is a drugstore uh, nail polish. It's Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. And it's like, I think like $9 a bottle, but you can just check your like coupons in the mail and see if they have like a special going on at CVS or Rite Aid. I got this, it was like two for the price of one at Rite Aid or CVS, two for the price of one at CVS, but just check all of them and like eventually they'll go on sale. Um, but if not, there's, I still think that they're worth the $9 because I don't know if I can go back to using normal nail polish after this. Like I feel like I'm spoiled. So I have this color on my nails right now. It's called How Nude, which I love because it's a nude color, but it's like more caramely. I feel like a lot of nude nail polishes lean more towards the gray side of things, and I'm, I don't know. If I want a gray nail, I'll get gray nail polish, but I want nude. So this is nice because it's really caramely. And then this one is called All Chalked Up, and this is the one I posted on my Instagram. And it's like, it's like a like really light lavender color, and it's chalky, which I like. I like a chalky nail. But this is like a really pretty lavender color, so I feel like you could wear it in the fall and it doesn't look like too summery, but if it were a pink, it might look too summery, if that makes sense. But anyways, you just put that on, and you'll only need like one or two coats because it's, it's super opaque, and then the top coat that comes with it. And if you do that right, you, it should last you a week and a half to two weeks, which is insane because people pay like $30 to get gel manicures and you could just have a bottle of your own at home for like $9. So stop getting gel manicures. Just kidding. I'll probably still get gel manicures for special occasions, but this is so good if you don't want to get gel manicures because that's an expensive habit for real. For real. And my last favorite, this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation with SPF 20 and this I am like very picky about my foundations like I don't really like to try a lot of new ones and I was using a different one which I still love and I'll still probably go back to but I just felt like it was time to like switch things up a bit and I saw I can't remember whose channel I saw this in but I saw it in somebody's channel and they said it was really good so I decided to try it out so it's it goes on like it's liquidy and I don't really know the purpose of this thing at all, but it's there. You could just ignore it. Um, it goes on really light. It doesn't feel like you're putting on a ton of makeup. And it's not completely full coverage, but there's something about it that makes your skin just look porcelain. Like, it just looks so airbrushed and, like, beautiful. It almost dries, like, pout, like with a powder finish, but it's a liquid foundation. So... This is the classic ivory color, number 20, which is what I use the whole thing, the whole entire thing, which never happens, but it's really good. Love it. 
So that is it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel so that I know people are watching. And if you have any ideas of things that you want to see, tutorials, um, product reviews, whatever you want to see, leave it in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great day. I love you.